past year, we researched ethics of launching a high-altitude weather balloon. After the season, we researched the science and math to launch our weather balloon. On June 2nd, 2018, we launched and recovered our weather balloon. And we had a great time doing it. NOAA collects temperature, humidity, and other data with launching HABs. NOAA also launches two HABs every day and launches them in almost 900 places over the world. The Jacksonville Center and the Atlanta Center, but there's 16... To find the volume of the balloon, we had to use the equation 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Once we knew the volume of the balloon, we knew how much helium to buy. We had to calculate the altitude so we knew how high our balloon went. Our teacher helped us with calculating the altitude using this formula. Something we had to do is predict the spot our weather balloon would land so we could find a good place to launch it. Here's a picture of the website we used to predict the spot that it planned. Another thing that we had to do was research the weather so we could find a good day to launch our hat. We used a food saver to see what effects air pressure would have on a balloon. We tested an inflating a 12 inch party balloon to see what diameter it was burst at. We used a formula to find the circumference 2 times pi times r so we could create a string for an 8 inch diameter inflated balloon. Next, we predicted the altitude the balloon would burst. We had to weigh everything the balloon was going to lift so we could calculate how much lift was needed to control the lift speed, helium required, and altitude the balloon would reach. We assembled the payload with our GPS, altimeter, camera, and party balloon experiment. We had to call the FAA before we launched our high altitude weather balloon so that it didn't hit any aircraft. We're going to be launching a high altitude weather balloon at 9.45 a.m. Mountain Standard Time at Sales, Arizona. Do you have any questions? No, no. Uh, got it. Didn't have the information. Um, all the aircraft are departing the area, so you guys shouldn't have any problem with what you can do. Thank you, sir. The party balloon burst at an altitude of 34,100 feet. We stopped for lunch while waiting for the balloon to land. The weather balloon burst at an altitude of about 76,000 feet. The parachute lines tangled and it knocked the gear night off. As you can see, we had to use lots and lots of mass to complete this project. Even though we didn't reach our goal, we still considered the project a success.